If you really want more, I'm screaming out louder. Leave it on the floor. Watch me as I dance under the spotlight Listen to the people screaming I'm more and more Cause I create the feeling that keep them coming back Yeah, I create the feeling that keep them coming back So captivating when I get it on the floor I know you have been patiently waiting I know you need me, I can feel it I'm a beast, I'm an animal I'm that monster in the mirror The headliner, finisher, I'm the closer winner You love it too, that's why You need it, you want it All over your body This loving, I'm giving It's worth more than money You need it, you want it All over your body I know that you want this Wild, wild love
evident When it comes to Miami, I always represent Read all about it, ladies and gents I done took over the game I like my women yang I like my women yang I like my women fine I like them off the chain Take them all the World Cup, Brazil, to the bang You know I meet them, greet them, read them, treat them Always keep them feeling right I don't know if I can handle all five But baby, we can try tonight Die. You need it, you want it UVL around 13, round 13. And we are live at Sutherland Basketball Stadium for number one team, Glebe Magic, facing off against the Sydney City Cobras. Big game for the Cobras, and I'm joined with Ashley Herbert. Let's mic you up, Ash. Starting for the Cobras, John O'Man, Jordan Lumcon, Darian Priest, Jake Tice, and Sam McCorkendale. For the Glebe Magic, Andrew Uruguay, Jake Wilson, Tony Tuano, Andrew Story, and Tom Cranfield. Glebe in the lime green, Cobras in the gold. Glebe going to the left of your screen, Cobras going to your right. Ashley Herbert, round 13 already. It's a doubleheader weekend. How has your weekend been going? Yeah, it's not too bad. We've had a couple of good games, but um, we still couldn't get over the line for Hoops Academy, unfortunately. Still 0 but, uh, and 13, huh? We are 0 and 13, but we're getting better every week. Every week so, you are. So we put up a good contest yesterday, and today we wasn't, weren't too bad. Good to hear. I'm really looking forward to this matchup, though. This should be a good game with uh, the Glebe Magic really on fire. They're, they're playing so well at the moment. Number one team in the UBL Sydney Summer League for 2014-15. And, uh, you know, the Cobras aren't doing too bad either. They've got a really talented team. And it's, when you've got people like Sam McCorkendale in there that can just do, do a bit of everything, it's really good to watch. Two-time MVP for this season. He's done pretty well for himself, getting uh, Dooley's dinners. We have a lot of thank yous to give out, and we have to start with the big boys, Gerard Maloof and Partners. A big thank you to Dooley, Spalding, My Sign Guy, and Soul Sports. And of course to you, Ash. Also joined by head coach of the Norwest Giants, Rob Ganane. Rob, you uh, also fell short with two losses this weekend in our doubleheader. Yeah, we were struggling for numbers uh, this week, uh, but the fill-ins did quite well. And especially today, we really pushed the Wildcats um, up at half time. And uh, just a narrow loss, but um, everyone contributed. So it was, it was a tough game, a good game. UBL is a bit of a demand for teams. And uh, looking like uh, in this hot weather, hot, stormy, thundery weather, that uh, we're getting a few teams with a lacking bench. Yeah, I think um, even though it's storming and thundering and raining, it's uh, it's hot and it's humid at the same time. So we can hear the rain as we're playing and um, we're sweating, sweating it up. How does it feel when you get the thunderbolt as you're uh, you know going a free throw line? Uh, did you did you say dunk or free throw? Because I did attempt a, um, a dunk today, but um, just managed to grab the bottom of the net. So of course we are on demand all week long. You can check it out www.ultimatebasketball.com.au. You can check out the Norwest Giants game where you had an attempted dunk by. Rob Ganane. Probably was a Tony Rollinson dunk, and uh, if you're a listener of the UBL, you probably know the Tony Rollinson is the dunk where you throw the ball in the hoop and grab the ring. If I actually did it, it definitely would have been a Tony Rollinson dunk. Um, and in my mind, they still count as dunks. You know, the ball goes through the hoop, you grab the rim, you look at your opponent. That's what you do. Um, I think this game's just about to get, get kicked off. Um, and I, I can see the Cobras definitely um, having an upset here. Here we go, ref says no good, and it's going to be Glee ball to start. All right, so two players you're looking out for, one from each team. Rob, start. Who are you looking out for the Glee Magic? Uh, Jake Wilson absolutely tore it up um, yesterday, 39 or 37 points, 18 to 30. So he's definitely going to get 20 points up. And I think Andrew Story is always solid in the middle, so that's a good match up there. Um, with Sam McCorkendale, who's another player who to look out for today. Yeah, I was just about to mention Ash uh, Cobras. Who are you looking out for? Yeah, certainly Sam McCorkendale is obviously the one for, the, to watch out for, I think. Um, but uh, if Jordan, Lom Jordan Lomcon's always a good player to watch as well. He's going to really bit, do a bit of damage in all aspects, not just scoring, but assists and rebounds and everything as well. 24 second shot clock violation for the Glee Magic, and Cobras are going to take advantage and get possession after their turnover. 
Uh, courtesy, of a, courtesy of an air ball by Tony. Uh, just get that out of the way, son, and um, keep playing. I kind of felt like he got the bottom of the net. Yeah, does that count? <laughs> I'm not sure. Now, another player for the Glebe Magic has to be Tom Cranfield. It uh, doesn't do a lot of the scoring, but up there with the offensive rebounds, you know, pulls in a nice 10 rebounds each game, which, as you guys imagine, offensive rebounds are just so valuable. Yeah, they're hugely valuable. They're hugely valuable. If you can get 10 offensive rebounds a game, that's, that's a lot of extra shots you can get up, and it makes a very big difference to the team. John Loncon, first in uh, assists up until last week and has been taken over by the number one scorer. He's also the number one passer in the league, Mitch Reader, now uh, number one. So John Loncon looking to have a big one in the assist category. Uh, yeah, Jordan is a pretty unselfish player, so any, any day he can, he can get 15 assists or he can go for 30 points. It's sort of just how he reads the game. He's been, um, in a positive way, been able to not have to put up as much numbers. He's gone down from 7.5 points to 16. Uh, that's obviously due to having players like Sam McCorkendale on the team. Yeah, I think sometimes you've got to recognise the talent, talent on your team and give up a bit of scoring. Um, yeah. We are live on UBL TV and a uh, bit of a shout out. We know that Slavko Barak has a lot of support overseas, so thank you to those guys that are checking in on demand and live. John O'Man with another three just rims out. Over the backboard and out. Glee's possession. Nice back tall cut and the finish, John O'Man. John O'Man, his third season in the UBL, played the first season with Norwest Giants last year and uh, moved on to play, sorry, beg your pardon, Central Bulls to first start with, and uh, Norwest Giants and the Young Guns, now the Cobras, being a bit of a uh, basketball, you know what. Um, uh, yeah, we're not going to say the word we're looking for here. Let's just say he's um, very social, very social. Love to go Barak there for the... Cleve Magic. <laughs> Cobra's looking at playing man in this first half and it's doing pretty well until they get down to the bottom with Andrew Story getting in two points. Just arriving, Terrell Turner coming up at a 31 point game and I think Cobras will be looking forward to him checking in. Two time story, does it again. Glee Magic are really looking for the big fella inside and he's um, just keeping the scoreboard ticking over here early. Well, it's the game plan that Glebe have been going with all season and it's been doing them perfectly fine, but this game, they're without Sean Cranny. Will that make a difference? I think maybe that's why they're trying to feed the big boy inside, work a bit of inside-outside game. Still 8-7 uh, here to the Glebe Magic. Six minutes into the first quarter. Glebe's had a lot of shooters on their team as well, so they can get a lot of, lot of points in from uh, Andrew Story in the middle, then it's going to really open up their shooters on the outside in the second half as well. And of course, another layer of their offense is the Jake train. As soon as Jake's gone on the move, you don't want to get in front of that. Right, right. 
Andrew Uruguay, number 24 for the Glebe Magic, just came uh, off the Australian School Championships this week, playing for the Westfield Sports High. Unfortunately, he didn't uh, get to the final game, but nonetheless, great to see them in the in the competition. Also in the same team, Aaron Borick from uh, the Wolves in the UBL, who just came off a 40-point game today, so it just shows what the Australian School Championships are doing. Yeah, there seem to be a lot of 40-point games going around in the UBL. Um, 43, to be uh, precise, is the top that we've had this season. Came yesterday from <coughs> none other than Mitch Reader. Yes, he's not afraid to shoot, the big fella. The Jake Train, and that's what I'm talking about. Jake Train, and it's usually with a basket at the end. Damon Cockendale does well to keep in possession there. Jake Thomas does it again over the backboard. Right over it looks like we're going to get a substitution. Cheryl Turner looking a bit cold right now. No matter how tough interior defense is going on, Andrew Story seems to get that ball and he makes use of it. 13 points to eight, leaving the lead. He's uh, really using his body really well now as well. He's uh, he's really toughened up over the last 12 months or so. And even, yeah, as I say, when people are pushing him around, he just pushes back and gets to the basket really easily. Great to see. Terrell Turner checking in for the Cobras. He's going to get his first action for our feature game live here on UBL TV. Oh, a little present nearly there for Jordan Lumcon. Doesn't happen, and Andrew Uruguay with a two-point basket. Cleave out to a 15-8 to eight lead at the moment, and Jordan looking to slow it down for the Cobras. Just needs a few warm-up shots, I think. Terrell Turner just checking in. Andrew Uruguay with the offensive rebound and put back. What a nice look. Cobra's looking to call the timeout now. It's 17 points to eight. We'll take a quick break here at Sutherland Basketball Stadium. UBL TV, Glebe Magic, City Cobras, and Glebe with the early start. Rob, you're saying about the Cobras point guard, Jordan Lumcon, has a uh, very unselfish game. I see that in the whole Cobras team sometimes, a bit too unselfish all over. Um, yeah, I mean, every coach says, you know, make that extra pass, make that extra pass, but sometimes you, your players can overpass when they're, when they're unselfish, so you've got to really take the first good open look, I think. Sure, though, you'll take a team of uh, unselfish people over a team of selfish, even though it might look good when everyone's being selfish, individually, yeah. of course. I don't think it matters how good you look, you know, it's, it's about the wins, you know. Jake Train about to start 
Jake Train finishing. Ask you a quick question, Luke. Um, what are the nicknames going around in the league? You seem to be the proponent of making these names up. And Andrew 14 Stories. Andrew 14 Stories. Have we got one for Sam yet? No, we don't, but we've just announced one yesterday for um, Harley Pupuke from the Wolves. Yeah. The Secret. <laughs> the Secret, okay. So, but once people know about his game, he'll well, no he's longer be a secret, won't he? But he's always going to be known as the Secret. Okay, all right. Yeah, Sam. Jordan Lumcon should be smooth operator. Sorry, I, I cut in on you there. That's golden rule not to do. I was just going to say, Sam McConkendale just definitely needs one. The surname of that one. I, th I think that surname is um, very conducive to a nice nickname. Yeah. So we'll have a think about it. Sam Mac. <laughs> Sam Mac's all right. Big Sam. Uh, now I'm losing it. It's got to come to me. <laughs> uh, just l let it flow to you, Luke. <laughs> Jake, another two points for this weekend. He's he's racking up his tally to 100 sooner. Or... Yeah, I've got. I do have uh, Jake in my fantasy team, UBL fantasy team, and he's uh, racking up the points for me. So thanks for that. Oh. Johnny, man, Johnny, a good-looking man. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He is a good-looking man. If you want to vote for your Best looking uh, UBL player like all the girls have been asking us to do. Always uh, use a hashtag, UBL good looking. <laughs> I think we are looking at a Christmas calendar for um, the UBL boys. Um, if you're keen, just put your hand up and we'll... Yeah, but there's more than 12 with, you know, abs and arms. They got, they, how, do you, how do you judge it? How do you, how do you pick 12? Oh, I think you've got to mix it up a little bit, you know. Some big guys, some little guys. And Ash's team doesn't even have anyone with parental consent. <laughs> we might leave the Hoops Academy out of that one. Back to the action and Glebe Magic aren't doing much different. They're in control. 23 to 8 with a minute to go in the first quarter. Sam McCorkendale really needs to start to get going for these Cobra guys. And that's going to do it with an M1 right there. Sam McCorkendale going to the line for one. Right on cue there, perfectly. Can't make it happen though. Nonetheless, two points, two points right now. Cobras are struggling to get it. Terrell Turner with the M1. That's going to help him get going. Fallon number 23, Tony Tuano. Sometimes when you're struggling as a team, sometimes it's good just to get a few steals, get out on the fast break and really push it. Scoring without the clock going is always a handy thing too, Rob. Three-point play there for Terrell Turner. Coming off a 31-point game yesterday, it wasn't enough, unfortunately. We'll have a bit of a chat about yesterday's game soon in the quarter time break. Cobra's really stepping up the defensive intensity in that one. Just let's see if they can uh, get a few steals here. Subs for the Cobras, Darian Priest coming in for John O'Man. I'll ask you a quick question, Luke. Um, what, what teams do you think have a, have a reasonable chance of winning, taking out the comp this year? Just by seeing what we're seeing so far, I'd have to put Glee Magic obviously up there. They're putting themselves in a very handy position. Parramatta Wildcats are doing what Parramatta Wildcats do. Then uh, you've got some players that are all in the same sort of area, and Oblich has to be one of those teams, I'd say. So there's three out of the four. Yeah. Uh, and I've got to say, maybe Cobras or ACBA? Yeah, I think um, even the Thunder are, are a chance. They've got, they've got quite a bit of talent. So I can see a good five or six teams There'll that could... fight there towards the end, for sure. And, uh, 20 grand. 10 grand. 10 no, grand. I knew it was 20 grand. Sorry. 
Been my own mistake. Uh, apparently, whatever you say is a binding contract. Is that right? So, for you guys listening out there, it's apparently it's a twenty grand UBL competition. Jordan looking to slow down, take the last shot of the quarter. That's going to do it with the first quarter is 25 points to 13. We'll be right back after this quick break. Can't be sleeping, keep on waking without the woman next to me. Guilt is burning, inside I'm hurting. This ain't a feeling I can keep. So blame it on the night. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on me, blame it on the night. Don't blame it on me, don't blame it on me. Blame it on the night. Don't blame it on me, don't blame it on me. So blame it on the night. Don't blame it on me, don't blame it on me. Don't blame it on me. A big shout out to Gerard Luth and Partners. My sign guy, Soul Sports, Spalding and Dooley, Lincoln Catholic Club. And you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Follow all the links on www.oldkinbasketball.com.au. Hey, you want to win a basketball, one of our game balls? You can win one of three. Simply go to our website, click on the win link and you have your chance. We want more subscribers, Ash. How about we get them through YouTube? If you have a Google account, you are already at halfway there. Just click on our subscribe button and you're ready to go. So, Ash, we've had round 12 yesterday and round 13 today. Let's uh, do a bit of an update there. Northwest Giants went down 107 to 72 over the South Thunder. Hoops Academy, your team, Ashley. 66 points to 85. The scoreline doesn't really... No, no yeah, what really happened in that game, but right. the Wolves dominated at the end and they got the win. Glead Magic got a huge win over ACBA Dragons, 106 to 57. While the Cobras went down to Oblich in a great game, the scoreline really doesn't show it, 95 to 78. While the Shy Slam has put up some big numbers, it wasn't enough for 43 points by Mitch Reader. The Wildcats win 112 to 95. 43 points. That's a big game, isn't it? The uh not many close games you're saying, you neither. No, it's, it goes in patterns. Yeah. Each round has a close round or not. <laughs> Second quarter action here. We're joined with head coach of the Norwest Giants, Rob Ganane, and uh, the star of Hoops Academy, Ashley Herbert. Mr. 9-9, close to double-double man. We're <laughs> doing what they started in the court. first quarter. It's now 27-13. If you want to find out more about the stat lines or anything that's going on with all the games and game logs and shot charts and all the great things that comes with the live stats, you can follow the link on our website. I think we need to get live stats starting and starting up on the, for the so to, to the players can see it on the court. And then we can start aiming for double doubles and triple doubles. Yeah, so project on the screen. That's yeah, not yeah, good that's for teams that are playing Mitch Reader. <laughs> <laughs> Projection screen was projected for like 2016. <laughs> I'm expecting to see a few of those drop for Slavko Barik. That one didn't happen, but usually online that man. We're on live stats right now. We can see that Jake Wilson is leading the way with 11 points. Wow. In the rebound count. No surprise. Andrew Story leading the way with five rebounds for the Cobras. An early start for John O'Man. Six points. While in the rebound category, not much has happened with only two to Jake Tice.
Cobra's really struggling to put points on the board this half. I think they're sharing the ball, ball quite well and they're getting good looks. Uh, it's just a matter of sticking with it and uh, I think they'll get, get back into this game. And like you said earlier, their defense really picked up and that really made a difference on uh, stopping Glebe getting some points on the ball, which is what they really need to focus on right now. It did. If, it did. if you're not scoring, um, at least make the other team not score as well. So um, they're hanging in there. A little bit of uh, tip for tat there with the uh, Cobras team and the referee, but we'll take a quick break. It's a timeout here for the Cobras. Feeling my way through the darkness, guided by a beating heart. I can't tell where the journey will end, but I know where to start. They tell me I'm too young to understand They say I'm caught up in a dream Well life will pass me by if I don't open up my eyes So that's fine by me So wake me up when it's all over When I'm wiser and I'm older All this time I was finding myself in love At UBL Official is our Twitter. At UBL Official is our Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook. And this is all done through YouTube. All video available on demand and live on our live channel on YouTube. We've just had a warning. And the stadium went real quiet. <laughs> I felt like we were all in trouble. <laughs> That's what Cobras need. Darian Priest with a three. Great screen there by Andrew Story, and then he drops. Didn't matter though, Jake Wilson with another two points. He now has 13 points for the game. He's on track for another 35 points. I'll say Darren Priest, three points again, back to back threes. And he's pumped. Cobra's looking like they're pushing back into the man and they're putting a lot of emphasis. Works there for them, they're going to stop and they're on the run. Would have loved to see a third there from Darian Priest. John and Man quick to react. Only an eight-point game now, 29 points to 21. Oh, another stop for the Cobras. Number seven, Tom Cranfield getting the offensive foul again. And uh, Glebe, Glebe with a quick timeout, see if we can rectify this run by the Cobras. It's break time. Can't be sleeping, keep on waking Without the woman next to me Guilt is burning Inside I'm hurting This ain't a feeling I can keep So blame it on the night Don't blame it on me Don't blame it on me Blame it on the night Don't blame it on me Don't blame it on me Blame it on the night
$10,000 competition. It is UBL Sydney Summer League and it's brought to you by Gerard Maloof and Partners. Dooley's Lincoln Catholic Club, Spalding, the one ball that we use in our competition. My sign guy and Soul Sport riders of both uniforms in our feature game between the City Cobras and the Glee Magic. 29 points to 21, Glee Magic just come out of the timeout looking to get a bit of a stop going because they've been in control all game until now. Great ball movement with the Glebe Magic. Pop, stop and pop by Slavko Barik. I think um, just with um, Harley Pupuke, I think it is. I think Slavko Barik is a bit of an unknown uh, player in the UBL, but uh, he's putting up great numbers of, of late. He needs a nickname. I think so. Slavko, we Barik for you. Yeah, yeah. In line with all the other cheesy ones we've been doing. Uh, uh, what about Slavko Mick Bucket Barrick? <laughs> um, you're on this Mick phase at the, in the moment, but I actually like that one. Oh, great still there by John O'Man. Slavko Barrick did not know who was there. Three balls not going down for the Cobras. Jake Train's about to start. That's what happens when you get in the way of the Jake Train. A little unlucky there for Terrell, not to get a charge there. Pretty close call. And Jake Train is on the, the wetness on the court, so he's all over the court. <laughs> We've just uh, received another warning and the place has gone quiet again. Uh, yeah, I think we need, to Turner. we need to relieve the tension here with a bit of comedy, Luke. It's getting a bit tense. I was, I was just about to say something disparaging about the referees and make you laugh, but I won't go there because I'm a big fan of the refs. Great defence there by Jake Trice. By oh, great defence, Jake. A little bit of the Rob Ganane there with the offensive rebounds, missed shots, offensive rebounds, missed but shots. But he wasn't trying to do it. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. I'll let that go. On, that one go. Do you count as you're doing it with your offensive rebounds? I don't, it over I don't and over? do that. <laughs> Another three by the Cobras. Oh, big shot. Three from four for Darian Priest. Give him the ball. Hard foul there by number seven, Jordan Lumcon and Tom Cranfield will go to the line. He'll shoot two. We've got four minutes left in the second quarter. And uh, the Glee Magic have a nine-point lead, 33-24. Make that a ten-point lead. The length of Glee really showing on that one. Did Jordan just couldn't get the pass out. Jake Train with the drain in three. Another three by Jake Wilson. Offensive rebound, Tom Cranfield. We mentioned that at the beginning of the game, how important. 
Substitution in for the Cobras. Sammy Corkendale checks in. John Lumcon takes the seat. Again, Jake Wilson. Looking like he's got 20 points for the game. Beautiful look there. Jake Tice gets on the board for two. I think the Cobras are probably relying on the outside shot a little bit too much. Maybe dump it into Sam. Slavko gets a second chance with a nice steal but can't make it with a layup. Terrell Turner goes into tall, tall boys. Jake Train. Jake Wilson leading the way for the Glebe Magic. They have a 41 points to 26 lead. Jake Wilson coming off a 37 point game. He's not doing too bad. He's got 22 already. He's uh, on track to beat the UBL record, I guess. 43, was it? 43 is the record for this season. Yeah. And he's got the ball in the fast break now. Looking, looking he's to push not it. In train mode, though. <laughs> yeah, the train's pulling into the station. So, yeah. Andrew Story couldn't capitalise down in the middle of the ball, got to him finally. A little bit of miscommunication there with the Cobras. Getting a bit tense there for the team as well. They need to just bring it in a bit and they'll be fine. Strong defense there for the Cobras, both on the ball. And defending the ring, and it worked out. They're going to get a chance to slim this lead, which they're trying to do before half time. Only a minute to go. Jake Wilson doing a uh, double work today. It's also the floor wiper. He'll pick up his five bucks at the end of the game. I'd like to see um, a GPS tracker on him, see how many kilometres he, he does. We've actually got a GPS tracker right here on him. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see where he's been shooting well from or missing, you can always check that out on the shot chart. It's live stats. You click on the link on the website, www.ultimatebasketball.com.au. It's really easy. You just click on FIBA live stats. And, and you I can, can see the right three now, misses. There'll be a lot Jake of circles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 8 of 11, I think, uh, Jake Wilson. 9 from 12. Nine Shooting from 12. 75% from the floor. Not too bad at all to have it in your team. <laughs> That's all hoops are missing. Someone's shooting 9 from 12. That Ash? would certainly <laughs> help. <laughs> if only I could. Jake Wilson there with a the steal. Jake Wilson there with a steal. Did I just repeat myself? Here goes the Jake train. Jake train's on. Toot toot. You cannot <laughs> stop the Jake train. You can foul it. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. And it's still probably going in. <laughs> 23 points for the game for Jake Wilson. He's only 14 off his season high of 37. 
Oh, a bit of a push, push off there. Oh, oh. nice block, Sam McCorkendale. But Andrew Story, he was right there right at the right time. Two possessions left in this half. Eight seconds left on the clock. It is 45-26, Glebe Magic in control at halftime of our feature game here in round 13 at a Sutherland Basketball Stadium. City Cobras looking to have a big second half. We'll be back in five minutes.
Yeah, that's right. This cut goes out to all y'all that's been missing us for mad years. One love, yo. Yeah, that's right. He's got game. If man is the father, the son is the center of the earth In the middle of the universe Then why is this verse coming six times rehearsed? Don't freestyle much, but I write them like such Word. Amongst the fiends controlled by the screens What does it all mean, all this shit I'm seeing? <laughs> Human beings screaming vocal javelins Sign of a local nigga unraveling uh -huh. My wandering got my ass wondering With crisis and all this crisis Hating Satan never knew what nice is Check the papers, well I bet on ISIS More than your eye can see and ears can hear Year by year all the sense disappears Nonsense perseveres, prayers laced with fear Beware, two triple O's It might feel good, good, it might sound a little something But damn the game, if it don't mean nothing What is game, who got game, where's the game in life Behind the game Hey, where's the drums?
gun goes out to all y'all that's been missing us for mad years. One love, yo. Yeah, that's right. He's got a game. P.E. 1998. If man is the father, the son is the center of the earth. In the middle of the universe. Then why is this verse coming six times rehearsed? Don't freestyle much, but I write them like such. Word. Amongst the fiends controlled by the screens. What does it all mean, all this shit I'm seeing? <laughs> Human beings screaming vocal javelins. Sign of a local nigga unraveling. Uh -huh. My wandering got my ass wondering. With crisis and all this crisis. Hating Satan never knew what nice is. Check the papers, well I bet on ISIS. More than your eye can see and ears can hear. Year by year all the sense disappears. Nonsense perseveres, prayers laced with fear. Beware, two triple A. It might feel needle. good, it might sound a little something. But damn the game, if it don't mean nothing. What is game? Who got, got game? Where's the game in life? Behind the game. Cobra's going to your left of the screen, Magic going to the right, Magic's been in control for this whole game so far, but Cobra's after that shot is looking to change it, and it's now 49 points to 31. Beautiful pass. Tony Chuano to Andrew Story, right under the basket, Andrew Story knows what to do when he's there. He doesn't miss too many of those. He used to though, didn't he? Another X-Factor point there for Sam Corkendale with a throw ball thrown off Jack Wilson. He's leading the game with two. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different box score we've got going on on our heads right now. It was a very, very good play though by Sam Corkendale. Heads up, very quick thinking. I'd like to think, actually, as well, in uh, 2016, we might be able to get a replay off this guy. Come on, bring the technology. Where is it? Yeah. I think the technology... It's a whole production studio right here. <laughs> as, as with most technology, it's exponential growth. So I think we might see those replays next year. Great move. Terrell Turner gets right in the lane. Looks at Andrew's story. In the eyes. 
as he shoots over him. I'd uh, like to offer a point to the coach of the Cobras, who's also just done a bit of floor wiping. That's the next factor point right there. Cobras leading 4-1. to one. Uh, Coaches and referees, I think we might have to slide them out of the X-Factor points. Um, unless you're a coach player, and then you can definitely get X-Factor points. Illegal this season of UBL, but whatever. <laughs> Terrell Turner gets a big hit there from Slavko Barrick. They're going to get the ball from the base. And there's a substitution in for the Glebe Magic. Tom Cranfield checks in. Tony Chiwano checks out. <laughs> Unlucky. Great look there. Cobras pick up the foul there. Jake Tice gets a reaching call. Foul count is two to one, and Cobras are winning that one. Story posting up here. Here we go, Sam McCorkendale on the break after a nice steal. Got frightened out by Andrew Uruguay. And one. Andrew, 14 stories. Puts it back, gets a foul, go to the free throw line. Substitution for the Cobras. Darren Priest checks in. Jake Tice, who should get a round of applause, checks out. <laughs> That's right, coach. Give him a clap. <laughs> Cobras looking really to push the ball hard and Great get rewarded. Look from Darrell Turner. John O'Meara with the two points. He leads the Cobras with 10 points for the game. I think there's going to have to be a little bit more scoring output for the Cobras to get over this. Cobras pushing it now. It's a three on one. Unfortunately, John O'Man couldn't hit the reverse layup. Kids, learn your left hand layups when you're doing it. <laughs> so the Cobras um, now down 16 points, and they're just missing those little fast break layups, and they can be costly when you're trying to make a run. Train can't make it happen. But he does split it. 24 points of the game for Jake Wilson, the Jake Train. Foul is called again on number seven, Jordan Lamcon. Jake Wilson will get another chance for another two free throws. That's Jordan's third foul, so that's, uh, hopefully he can't get in any more foul trouble. Especially when you don't have the bench support. That's right, they've got one on the bench, but yeah, they don't want to lose one at the moment. We saw today that the Wolves um, struggled today with fouls and uh, ended the game with three players. Yeah. Still manage 80 points and a loss with three players on the court. Foul on Glebe Magic number 14, Andrew Storey. Oh. 
great move, Terrell Turner goes around everybody. Terrell Turner now has 10 points for the game. Cobras get a possession down 16. It'll be great to see them pull this under 10 in the fourth quarter. Foul number 13, Jake Wilson. Some heavy contact there. And it's caused a timeout. We'll take a quick break and come back and talk about the round 13 games. One of three sporting basketballs, thanks to our fantastic partners at the UBL, Gerard Maloof and Partners and Dooley's Lincoln Catholic Club. You can win one of the game balls that we use, Sporting TF1000 Legacy. It is 55 Magic 39 Cobras in the third quarter with four minutes to play. Shot clock violation there for the Cobras. Still there, Terrell Turner's three on one break. Darian Priest with a nice over Andrew Uruguay. Another still Cheryl Turner. Foul is on. I didn't even see that foul get called. <laughs> Big three here for the Cobras. That's what they need. It is an 11 point game. Three and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Scoreline 55 44. Trail Turner with two quick steals and it's changed the game dramatically. Five steals for the game. Another stop for the Cobras. Looks like Jake Wilson's just tweaked his ankle there. He's uh, prop very croppy at the moment. That's not what Glee Magic want to see. Uh, maybe a little bit of a stretch there for Andrew with a long outs outside jumper. And it, it didn't get blocked? Uh, let's say that's a negative X factor right there. <laughs> nice look. John Lumcon, Sam McCorkendale, two points. It is a nine point ball game. Oh, 
offensive rebound, Tom Cranfield. Fast break here, it's real time. one break. <laughs> Foul, Slavko Barrick, number 41. Terrell Turner will shoot two free throws. Cobras will have a substitution. Jake Tice comes in. John O'Man sits down. We've got the opportunity to pull this game to seven points. If we can knock these two free throws in and we've got a game. One down. Two down. Substitution for the Glebe Magic. Number 23, Tony Tuano comes in for Andrew Story. Tough D there, but Tom Cranfield will go to the line. The foul is on number 15, Jake Tice. That's four fouls for Jake Tice. This shall make for a very interesting fourth quarter. Two missed free throws here by the Glebe Magic at the offensive rebound. So vital, those offensive rebounds. Glebe Magic has dominated the offensive board. <laughs> 24 second shot clock violation. Cobras with a substitution. Number five, Johnny Man checks in for foul trouble riddled. Is that the right word? <laughs> Jake Tice has four fouls and he's sitting down. So Cobra's still down seven, looking to bring this game to five or possibly four. With one minute 20 left in the quarter. And beautiful Jordan, move there by Jordan. Jordan Lumcom, great job. Tough move, big boy move. And the free throw to bring it to four point game. Glebe, Glebe seems to be complaining about the foul, but we could hear their slap pretty clearly from here. We're in the stands. No, they complained about who the foul was. Oh, okay, all right. Not many people usually put their hand up, but Jake Train has. No, he certainly hasn't put his hand up. He's saying it wasn't him. Because that puts him on 4,000. Great think. research there, Ash. <laughs> Appreciate you fixing that up for me. <laughs> Cobras are going to push with Terrell Turner. Beautiful layup. Left handed Terrell Turner, coast to coast. We've got a three point game here with 50 seconds left. One possession. Cobras have had a great quarter. Ooh. Left hand layups. It's on Big shot for Terrell Turner. He needs a nickname now. Back to one point of difference. This is going to be coming awesome last quarter. Terrell Turner now with a matched game high scoring 14 points. No, he's had to do it that time with the left. No, very nice touch there with the left hand. This is. 15 seconds on the clock, a one possession game. This could be tied going into the fourth. I'm looking forward to the fourth now, guys. Seems to be holding up a bit long. There's only five seconds left on the clock. <laughs> Mr. Music time. It's quarter time. 57, 54. Cobras really thinning the gap now.
We are on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Join the network, ultimatebasketball.com.au. And a big thank you to GMP, Drab, Maloof and Partners, Compensation Lawyers, Toys, Lincoln Catholic Club, Spalding, My Sign Guy and Soul Sports. We want subscriptions. It's YouTube. It's live. It's on demand. You can subscribe through your Google account. Or if you do have a YouTube account, just hit that subscribe button. It's Cobras vs. Glebe. Fourth quarter action here. Round 13 of our feature game at Sutherland Basketball Stadium. We have the leading scorers of the game. 27 points to Jake Wilson. He's 11 of 18, 61% shooting, whilst four rebounds. Andrew Story, 14 points, 11 rebounds. And for the surging Cobras, we've had a late, late input from Terrell Turner. He has 16 points, five assists, three steals, and four rebounds. While Darian Priest is keeping them in the game also with his three-point shooting, he has 14 points for the game. Looking for a big, big quarter from Sam McCorkendale. It is 57-54, Glebe in control. They've been in control all game until the last quarter, and Cobras have been absolutely defending the out of it. Oh, nice block there on by Jake Wilson and Terrell Turner's shot. Oh, we've got a turn over here. John O'Man could not capitalize. Get another chance. The foul is on number five, John O'Man. He's going to get substitution. Jake Tice to check in. Four fouls for John O'Man. So I think the Cobras have three players, I think, on four fouls now, so we've got to really control control that. Big strong move there. Glebe out to a five point lead, eight minutes left. Yeah, the Cobras don't want to let this get out any further. The uh, they, they made a, had a really good comeback and they just want to make sure they can stay in contact with this game. That being said, a bit of a loose pass there by the Cobras. That was very professional of you, Luke. <laughs> and the defense really, really ramping up by both teams and Cobra's still looking to push it with Terrell Turner. Beautiful move. And one. So Terrell Turner to the line. Could have a two-point game after this. It's always astounding to me to see some of those little guys in the key. How do they get that shot up with the two big monsters trying to block that shot? I know, but I feel pretty safe when he's in the open court. Points 
Big shot by Sam McCorkendale. So, so, so apparently one of the microphones wasn't turn, turned on for a while, so I was just having a conversation with myself for the last five minutes. I hope you found it entertaining. Like, what is this guy talking about? Jordan Lumcon, two points. It's a one-point game with seven minutes to play. One-point game here, seven minutes left. I just said that. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're sitting so far. The mic's on now. I didn't realise your mic was on now. I'm just going to repeat everything you say now, just in case. Just in case. Here we go. This go Big for three. Oh. And Jordan fights for the rebound, gets it in the corner. And we've got to play her down, Sam McCorkendale in the backcourt. So we pause the game for a while while they check him out. Substitution in for the Glee Magic, Slavko Barrick in for Tony Chuano. Would you like to win one of our indoor basketballs we use for our games? It's a TF1000 Legacy, and you can win it thanks to our partners, Gerard Maloof and Partners, and Dooley's Lincoln Catholic Club. Just click on the link or scan the code and enter. We'll take a quick break here. It's time out. So we've got a one point game here, 61-60. Cleve -60. Magic with the lead, six minutes left. And I think the Coppers, the, if they can continue to push the, push the ball, transition with Terrell, Terrell and um, and Jordan, I think they might just pull this game out. Bit of a stat update, team stats. In the three point percentage, we've got a measly 11% from the Glebe Magic. And 30% for the Cobras in the free throw percentage, 75% versus 50% for the Glebe Magic. And in the rebound count, 39 rebounds for the Glebe Magic versus 26 rebounds for the Cobras, whilst the assists are 14 to 11. Steel count, 9 to the Cobras, 13 to the Glebe Magic. And a lot of those steals are from a lot of bad passes. Yeah, the, the intensity on defense is up there, but there's quite a few loose loose passes out there. And if you can strip those turnovers away, it makes a big difference at the end of the game. Lead Magic with 38 points in the paint, whilst Cobras have 28 points in the paint. I found all this through the live stats, and you can click through. Go to our web hub. So Glebe a bit stagnant with the offense at the moment. Slavko with a pullback shot. Slavko Barik, two points, and he's tallies up to six points. Can't have it for the Glebe Magic, but that's great for the Cobras. They're down three right now. Two points, Terrell Turner. That was like great. a little flick shot, that one. Nice, great look from Jordan Lumcon as well. Yeah, he knew he had to get that off really quick with the big guy coming over, so he just sort of flicked. Oh! Foul no comment is there, on number four, Terrell Turner. Looked like a steal, but ref knows what they're doing. Yeah, but I think if you... We had replay. We could see whether it was a foul or not. It looked pretty good to me. Yeah, production studio. Where's our replays? Hey. 
Foul on number 12, Sam McCorkendale. Jake will shoot two. The Cobras are really gambling at the moment. They're, they're trying to go for every single steal they can, and um, it's getting a, it's, it's allowing the Glebe Magic to get a little bit open when it, if, it, if they don't get that steal. It's a bit of a hit and miss um, concept, you know, to really go hard and go for the steal. Sometimes Which you get the steal and you get a couple of fast break laps in a row, and other times you get you'll pay for it. But with six and a half minutes to go, would you do that in that situation? Or would you let the game play at the normal speed? Because you're not really needing to get them on the free throw line. Yeah, I mean, it's a close game, so it's probably not needed, but maybe that's just their style of game. Apparently Sam was creating that contact. Big guys in the key. Oh, beautiful steal by Sam. Oh, he's a lot of hands everywhere for the Cobras and it's making it very hard for the Glee Magic. They got five on the clock. Now they get a reset. Oh, it looks like Sam McCorkendale might be fouled out here. Foul on number 12, Sam McCorkendale. That is no, his just fourth, fourth foul. foul. Andrew Story will shoot two. Great look there from Terrell Turner. Finds Darian Priest for another two points. Darian Priest has now 16 points to the game. Two more points for Terrell Turner. Do we have a lead change? We do, I think for the first time in the game. Cobras are up, 66-65, four minutes left. Andrew Story going to work in the post. Clutch City for the train. Two points, Jake Wilson. It was uh, short-lived, that lead. <laughs> <laughs> we did get excited over it, though. Jake Wilson now has 33 points for the game. In, Darian Priest with another three-point shot. It's now 69-67, and Darian has 17 points for the game. I think it's time to get excited again. <laughs> Cobra's up by two, 69-67. Only three minutes left. Defensive pressure is right up there now. <laughs> and a steal by the Cobras, looking to push it out. Two points. You got to dunk that. You got to dunk that. Am I right? Yes. It's ultimate basketball. <laughs> we picked a nice live feature game for this round 13. Jake Wilson, he now has 35 points for the game. Two points off his season high. Someone stopped the Jake train. I think it was a Jake. Well, the Cobbers are trying to be careful with it, uh, not fouling, because they're all on four fouls, apparently, except for one. Um, but he did a good job of stopping that, unfortunately, story with an offensive putback. That looks like Andrew Story might be out of the game. That might be his fifth foul. Foul is assessed to Andrew Story. And we're just waiting for the stat bench to tell us. That's his fourth foul. We've got eight players on four fouls, it feels like, right now. And um, some big free throws coming up from Sam McCorkendale. Two minutes left, tied game, 71 all. Big shot. Oh, 
crucial turnover there for the Glebe Magic, mm. Slavko Barak with a travel call. And it really is, and there's no one around him at all, so. We're gonna take a quick break, time out. Big thank you to Drive Maloof and Partners, Dooley's, Spalding, my sign guy, Soul Sports. We can't have live features like this without them. If you haven't checked in, check in now. I Tell someone, message someone, hashtag get on it. I think um, going back from two weeks ago, we encourage you guys to Twitter us live. Now, I think it might not happen, but let's try and get that happening next week. If there is anyone out there in the Twitterverse, shoot something through. It's just unfortunate. You know, all the on-demand numbers that we get, you can always hashtag we watch you on demand. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just like we're talking to a wall. Are you out there? We're on Twitter, like we just mentioned, or Instagram. Use those hashtags, or Facebook. And right now we're using YouTube for our live feature game. You can click through and follow us, like us, do all those things that makes us subscribe to us. You can find it all through our one website, ultimatebasketball.com.au. It is a 72 to 71 lead for the City Cobras. We haven't been saying that all game except this fourth quarter. They've been working hard on the defensive end and getting inside and making some crucial plays. Cleve has been struggling, but it is a close one. One point game, two minutes. Second chance opportunity. We said it before at the beginning of the game, Ash. Big, big yeah, one that, right there with that's the That's exactly right. With two minutes left, the defensive rebounds are crucial at the moment, so you want to make sure you clean them up. But the Cobras are getting a few chances at the moment. Big three here. Oh. <laughs> Minute 34, Glebe Magic in control of the ball. Might be an opportunity to have an overtime game, which we've seen a few times. Have we seen a few times there? Quite a number. Pan, Pan Quite a number. Oblique. They usually, uh, they usually come in. Throw. Oh, yeah. Slavko Barik makes up for the turnover there with a big three. He's saying hello to all his fans. Heads up play there by Sam McCorkendall. He saves another possession. Is that another X-Factor point right there? X-Factor point right there. He's on 24. <laughs> <laughs> Big jump here. We mentioned before, Tom Cranfield just seems to be in the right places on those rebounds, and he was there. Glebe have a chance to make this more than one possession. And they do. Andrew Story, the reverse layup, 76 72, less than one minute to play in our feature live game. A couple of big plays by the Magic in the last minute of the game. It's Cobras will retain possession with 11 seconds on the shot clock. The, some urgency needed here by the Cobras. And oh, big three by Terrell that. Turner. And a foul, perhaps. So we've got one point lead by the Glebe Magic. 19 seconds on the shot clock, 32 seconds on the game clock. Terrell Turner's got 25 points for the game. And a big miss there, but Jake Wilson gets the rebound. Still 10 seconds on the shot clock, 20 on the game clock. Story again. Oh. A big Big, oh. big defensive oh, block. Big, big play, big play, Jay travel call this. Time out. Cobras after a massive defensive play by Jake Tice. He's been doing it all game, and now Cobras are going to have one chance to get the lead in the last play of the game. Win one of three basketballs here in UBL. You just have to click on our link or scan the code have a chance to win one of our game balls. Hopefully one of these game balls. I hope we don't give them out by an actual use game ball. <laughs> oh, I think Terrell Turner. 
But if I was a Benny Lee or OJ, everyone would think it's Terrell Turner and get it Darian Briggs. I think that might be the way to go. Terrell gets into the key, they collapse. Might be an opportunity to kick it out to um, Darren Priest for three or three or three shots. With 13 seconds left. They're only point down. That's right. Go through that. I'd like to be indulgent and um, I want to see a foul and two free throws. So down one with two free throws and pressure really on. And split the difference and uh, get the That's what I'm thinking, yes. This is a Cobras bench right there. They've got a chance to make this a very special game. They're down one point. Who is going to be the man? We think it should be Darian Priest, but Terrell Turner knows how to play a clutch game. 13 seconds, Cobras ball, down one. Here we go. Terrell Turner with the ball. Clock hasn't started. Bit of a mountain function there with the score bench, and we're going to restart that with 13 seconds on the clock. All right, this is just building suspense. <laughs> so you don't need a three-pointer, Rob. You need a, just a, a McBucket. So just a McBucket, a chucky <laughs> McBucket. So you've got towers in the base. How are you going to make this two-pointer? Um, I think if you do want to go inside and penetrate, get into his body, try and draw the foul. Um, but if he's playing good defense, kick it out to a shooter and take a good open look. We can't be in this situation without someone like Jake Tice, who has been incredible. We have to be a bit quiet because everyone's listening to us. <laughs> Should we whisper the, this last commentating? As if... Yeah. No. No? No, don't. So, and Terrell Turner's got the ball. He comes <laughs> off a pick. A fadeaway jump shot. We've just getting a bit of a time change so we can make sure that Cobras get the right opportunity here. 13 seconds left on the clock. 13.77. Here we go again. Terrell Turner <laughs> looking to get the ball off the side. And we've got a foul oh. here. Oh, Interesting, but that's not going to put them on the line. They still only have got three fouls. three fouls. So we just repeated ourselves. But we do have the fifth foul for Slavko Barrick. Tony Chuano is checking in for the 13 seconds here in the fourth quarter. And apparently we've got Tony guarding Sam McCall. No, yeah, a big high difference there. Big mismatch there. So we'll see Jordan Lumcon with the ball at the top. Oh. oh, big rebound, Andrew Story. Jordan Lumcon misses the jump shot, which would have given them the lead. Foul is now... Going to put a lead magic to the line for two free throws with one second on the clock. Unsure if they got a timeout available. So I think it was a good look there by Jordan. Uh, obviously, Terrell got double teamed, had to give it up. And sometimes you make them, sometimes you miss those That's ones. It was definitely the right shot to take. There was no problem, no question there. But uh, unfortunately, it just rimmed out. With one second on the clock, I don't think Cobras have enough time to get a decent shot up. And uh, if I was Andrew Story, I might just miss yeah, this free I was throw. Yeah, say, you want to probably miss this free throw and then they... Uh, Run the clock out. That's right. Cobra's going to get a chance to win this. I think another chance again with one second on the clock. I think that's a bit of a bit of a mistake there by Andrew Story. The game should have been over if he just missed that free throw. Cobra's get to advance the ball through a timeout and have a good look uh, to either tie or win the game with one point two seconds left on the clock. action here in the huddle of the Cobras timeout. They get one opportunity. It's one second on the clock. We see this daily in the NBA. We don't get an opportunity in the UBL as much. But this is where stars are born. But as well as money time. It's been a lot of blowout games this weekend so it's great to end up with a, with a very close game for the weekend. And so now if, if, um, if you're the Cobras, Luke, are you looking for a three to, take, to win this game outright or are you just Trying to get it to overtime. Breeze is going to give you a little more of an opportunity. If you can come off the screen and get that shot off, you got great three-point shooters, but 
it's really what's going to be given to you on the defensive end because yeah. if you've got that two chance, you want to take it and not get lost, at least go into the other time. With someone fouled out on the other team, you've got another great chance to go to the The other great thing, John Lampon, great passer, and he's going to be passing from the outbounds. Yeah, we um, might even see a bit of a trick play here. The big guy rolling to the basket, but we'll wait and see. Um, if I'm going to guess, I would say Terrell Turner is going to come off a pick here and um, get a look at the shot. 77-75, it is Lee Magic with the lead, and one chance to win the game. Terrell Turner gets the three up, but does not get the call. The game is all done and Glebe Magic get another win on the board. They're still number one team in the UBL going into 2015. We've got one more week in round 14 action. We'll let you know about what that is. It starts at 2 p.m. at Orphan Basketball Centre with ACBA Dragons taking on this team, City Cobras, and both teams need a massive win. That's going to be a showdown at 2 p.m. at ABC as well. We've got Glebe Magic versus Norwest Giants. You can take some notes on that one, Rob. So then at 4 o'clock at Orb Basketball Centre, we have Oblich versus Hoops Academy. 4 o'clock at Orb Basketball Centre, we got South Sydney Wolves versus City Royals. And then at 6 p.m., the showdown between the South Thunder and Parramatta Wildcats. Live on UBL TV, our YouTube channel. I'd like to say thank you very much, Rob Ganeen from the Norwest Giants, Ash Herbert from the Hoops Academy. Great game to be part of. It's been a massive weekend here. Saturday and Sunday, round 13, round 12, all wrapped up in this fantastic game. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll join you next week. Thanks, boys.